and they put a stronghold there with their military and, and leave gir uh, garrisons, all right, and build up a, an, an assembly, what do they call it, embassy, thank you, embassy, in that land of the people they conquered, okay, all right, it says, then shall his mind change, and he shall pass over and offend, offend, imparting this, his power unto his God, and his God is his military, okay, that's where Esau puts his trust in his military. Okay, Revelations 13 and 11. It says, And I beheld another beast come out of the earth. Alright. And he had two horns like a lamb, and he spake as a dragon. This beast is talking about America. Okay. Alright. It's talking about America. And he had two horns like a lamb. Okay, a lamb is a peaceful, docile creature. Like I said before, he comes with peace, all right? And the two horns represent the Democratic and Republic Party. Okay, and he speak, and he speak as a dragon. The dragon is the ancient Roman Empire, okay? Because America's whole structure is built off of the, the ways of the ancient Greeks and Romans which were their former kingdoms, okay? It says, and he exercised all the power of the first beast before him, which that's talking about the ancient Roman Empire, and caused the earth and them which dwelt therein to worship the first beast, whose deadly wound was healed, okay? During the time of the Renaissance, okay? And that's why everybody uh, glory or worship basically Rome all right, the way the lifestyle and the practices of the ancient Greco Roman Empire, all right, by means of America. Okay, it says, and he doeth great wonders so that he make a fire come down from heaven on the earth in the sight of men. And that's where this man's pride was fueled, okay, because he was able to do such things as destroy nations by the, by the, the thousands, okay, by the millions. All right, hundreds of thousands by by him dropping fire from the sky okay starting first and foremost with um when in World War two when um, when the United States dropped them bombs on the Japanese and uh, Hiroshima and Nagasaki okay when he dropped them that was atomic warfare and then from that on up to now you got the jets you got stealth jets you got planes you got the uh, the drones, okay, and they constantly rain fire from the sky, man. This is his way of, of basically scaring the people, man. All right, let me get that in Isaiah, Isaiah 10. Isaiah 10 and 7 says, How be it he meaneth not so, neither doeth his heart think so. But it is in his heart to destroy and to cut off nations, and not a few. Talking about Esau, the so-called white man. For he saith, Are not my princes altogether kings? Okay, so this is how the so-called white man thinks, man. Alright. Is not Kalnos and Karchemesh, is not Hamath as Arpad, and is not Samaria as Damascus? As my hand have found the kingdoms of the idols, and whose graven images did exalt them, excel them of Jerusalem and Samaria, shall I not, as I have done unto Samaria and her idols, do so do to Jerusalem and her idols? Wherefore is it shall come to pass that when the Lord hath performed his whole work upon Mount Zion and on Jerusalem, I will punish the fruit of the strout heart of the king of Assyria and the glory of his high looks. Now this, this right here is talking about Esau, so-called white man. Okay, this is his thinking. He said, for he saith, by, my, by the strength of my hand, I have done it. And by my wisdom, for I am prudent. And I have removed the bounds of the people and have robbed their treasures. I have put down the inhabitants like a valiant man, all right? And my hand have found as a nest the riches of the people, 
And as one gathereth eggs that are left, have I gathered all the earth. And there was none that moved the wing, or opened their mouth, or peeped. That's, that's this man's pride, man. That's why he said, I will never be in adversity, and I, who, who can bring me down? All right, but the scripture said this, shall the axe boast itself against him that hew, heweth therewith? All right, or shall the saw magnify itself against him that shaketh? Because the Lord controls Esau. He's, he's controlled by the left-hand side, okay? Through, through uh, Esau's God is Satan, and Satan is a, is a, a servant of the, of the Heavenly Father, man, okay? All right. This is as if the rod shall shake itself against them that lift it up, or as if the staff should lift up itself as if it were no wood. Therefore shall the Lord, the Lord of hosts, send among his fat ones leanness, and under his glory he shall kindle a burning like the burning of a fire, going into his destruction. So the Lord just building Esau up to destroy him, man. All right? Cause he ain't nothing but a tool. He's he's the sword of the Lord. Psalm seventeen thirteen. Okay. It says, "Arise, O Lord, disappoint him, cast him down, deliver my soul from the wicked, which is thy sword." Okay. And that goes back into his blessing. Genesis twenty seven thirty eight. This is an Esau said unto his father hast thou but one blessing my father bless me even at, even me also O my father and Esau lifted up his voice and wept and Isaac his father answered and said unto him behold thy dwelling shall be the fatness of the earth and of the dew of heaven from above so he was going to obtain a, a kingdom where he rules over the whole earth and over all the nations just like the kingdom of Jacob all right but it's a, his dwelling, meaning he was going to be there for a short time. Unlike the blessing that was given to Jacob, where he will own it. Okay. It says, and, okay. And by thy sword shalt thou live, meaning he was going to be a man of war, a man of violence, and that's how he was going to obtain and sustain his power over in the nations through fear of, of him bringing his military might to destroy him like it is today and shall, and shall serve thy brother because he did serve slavery under under the Israelites during the time of King David and the time of Solomon All right, but when the kingdom split and they started weakening in power due to them going off then he was able to uh, relieve, release himself from up under the children of Israel and he even helped the Babylonians take down the kingdom of Judah. All right, when they went into captivity under Nebuchadnezzar. Okay. All right, but he going back into slavery in the kingdom. And it shall come to pass when thou shalt have the dominion, that that thou shalt break his yoke from off thy neck. And Esau hated Jacob because of the blessing wherewith his father blessed him. And Esau said in his heart, The days of mourning for my father are at hand. Then will I slay my brother Jacob. Okay. So. That's in this man's heart. He wants to destroy you Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, which are the Israelites. Okay. And that spirit is getting stirred up on him again. Just for this time of martial law, which is right around the corner. Okay. Matthew 26, 52. Then said Yahweh unto him, Put up again thy sword into his place. For all they that take the sword shall perish with the sword. So that's the judgment that's going to come upon Esau. He's going to die by the same way he obtained and sustained his power through the sword of war and um, raining fire on people. That's what's going to happen to him. Thus saith the Lord. Okay. Revelation 6 and 4. It says, And there went out another horse. Horse represent power. Okay, that was red, Edom, which Edom means red, Adamwam in the Hebrew. And power was given to him that sat thereon to take peace from the earth. Since the time this man been in power, there has been nothing but death and destruction. And peace have not reigned in the time of the earth when Esau was ruling. 
It's been nothing but constant war. That even goes back during the time of the Greeks, the Romans, and even modern day now with America, NATO, and the EU. Okay? Alright? You take peace from the earth, and that they should kill one another. Okay? And there was given unto him a great sword, going back to his power, which is the blessing that Isaac gave to him through the Spirit of the Lord when he prophesied Esau's kingdom. It was going to be obtained and, and sustained by the power of the sword, which is basically his military might and weapons. All right. So Obadiah 3, it says, The pride of thine heart have deceived thee, thou that dwellest in the cliffs of the rock, whose habitation is high, that saith in his heart, Who shall bring me down to the ground? Though thou exalt thyself as the eagle, and though thou set thy nest among the stars, thence will I bring thee down, saith the Lord. Yeah. And when when he supposedly went into to uh to the moon, alright? Alright, which I think that was the, the Apollo NASA's uh Apollo series where they was sending men into space and supposedly went to the moon, which they never reached the moon. All right, because it's a, a belt of radiation that if you even go through it, it's going to destroy you. Okay. All right. But when they said that they went up there, they said the eagle has land. And that was, what, 69? And then from that time, or 70s till now, they've been on a plummet, man. Okay. The Lord been bringing them down. All right. Malachi chapter 1, verse 1. It says, The burden of the word of the Lord to Israel by Malachi. I have loved you, saith the Lord. So the Lord loves you, Negroes, Latinos, and Native American descent. Yet ye say, Where hast thou loved us? Because you catch a hell under the curses, because of your disobedience. Was not Esau Jacob's brother? All right. Yeah, the so called white man. He's, he's actually closely more related to, you, to the Africans. Right, or any other nation, okay? Because he was the twin brother of, of our father, um, Jacob, all right? But he broke the brotherly covenant when he brought us into slavery, okay? And say of the Lord, yet I love Jacob, okay? So the Lord loves Jacob, the Israelites, you Negroes, Latinos, Native American descent. And I hated Esau. Esau, you so-called white people and you fake Jews. You Jewess, you wish you was a Jew. And, and laid his mountains and his heritage waste for the dragons of the wilderness and that's what's going to befall america all right state of israel um parts of russia and other in other parts wherever these edomites uh be at okay all right it's going to be turned into uh, a waste for the dragons of the wilderness whereas edom saith the people we are impoverished. What time was that? During the time of the Dark Ages. Okay. All right. From 325 to like the early 1400s, Esau was in a low state. That was, that's when he was in the caves grunting and being beast-like. Okay. Straight savage. But we will return and build the desolate places. That's, the, that's now. Starting, that's talking about the Renaissance. Okay. And from that on, establishing America as being that focal point for the so-called new world to establish the so-called new world order which is basically pure wickedness man all right thus saith the Lord a host they shall build but I will throw down and they shall call them who's the they the people the Israelites call them the border of wickedness because anywhere where Esau dwells is pure wickedness okay and he is uh, the beginning and end of wickedness because the beginning all right, of wickedness was established during the time as him as the serpent. Okay, And the end of his wickedness is going to be when the Lord eradicates his ass with these missiles and when the Lord comes back with the chariot to um, burn him up with laser fire with the missiles. Okay, And then after the kingdom... After he serves a thousand years, he's going to be completely exterminated. So that's what it means he's the border of wickedness, the beginning and end of wickedness. Okay, it starts with him and it's going to end with him. All right. 
and the people against whom the Lord hath indignation.